Hello world, this is Chris with Elevations doing an unboxing of a nice, new, beautiful product we just recently received. So as you can see here, this is the Raspberry Pi 5, the 8 gig RAM version. This is the first time <laughs> I've ever even seen one in stock anywhere. So I went ahead and picked up two. So since we do have these new devices out and we are pushing in with a lot more of our robotics classes, especially as the VEX IQ season ends, we're going to be doing a lot more underwater rockets and other types of labs over the summertime. Figure to pick up a couple of these Raspberry Pi 5s as well as some more Raspberry Pi 0 Ws so we can work on our projects. So let's go ahead and actually open up the Raspberry Pi 5 8 gig version and see what it looks like inside. Notice it does have some pretty easy instructions open here. If you haven't had a chance to actually look yet, take a look and see how they put these in boxes. It's a really cool automated system that they've put together that the actual robots that actually box these up are powered predominantly by other Raspberry Pis. So opening this guy up, we can see a lot of extremely familiar things inside this box. So let's go ahead and pull the guy out of the box. We'll reorient so we can take a look a little bit easier. And let's zoom in a little bit more as well so we can kind of look at the board itself. So again, this is that Raspberry Pi 5. Notice we do have those GPIO pins that we are used to, that general purpose input output pins. So we have all that up here at the top. And then we have a lot of other fun things going on. Notice some of the layout here is a little bit different. We do have the PCIe slot over here. And then we have USB UART and then the primary USB input. Uh, something to note is I do believe that is requiring a higher amperage to power that now. And then we do have these one and zero here. It looks like it says cam and display. So it would be really nice, and I don't know that for sure since this is the very first one, if we can do a camera or display on either port. So that means you can do two displays or two cameras, one display, one camera, et cetera, et cetera. So something to know, obviously we do have these primary chipsets here before we've done these unboxings and assemblies of a Raspberry Pi, specifically with the Raspberry Pi 4B. And one thing that I always suggest is you actually look at getting the heat sink kits because the primary CPU here will generate quite a bit of heat. And we do have some of these other primary chips that also produce quite a bit of heat. And to be able to ensure you have the most longevity possible, you want to make sure to keep that board nice and cool. And then one thing to note that I know everybody is quite excited about is we do actually have a momentary push button right there as well. Let's go ahead and rotate. So I did notice we do have that UART port. Do we have a label? So it is a J5 for a battery right there as well. So you can plug in a battery directly to the Raspberry Pi. So you have that little capability there. Now I do not know, but it looks like we do have these open holes. So it's very possible that we can actually solder directly into that and solder into a battery circuit as opposed to connecting with that J5 port. So let's go ahead and rotate. So like I did mention before is we do have that USB-C right here. So it's going to be your primary input for power. And then we have two more uh, display ports. You do have that micro HDMI. And then let's take a rotate and see what we have. So we do have that Ethernet port right there. Then we have dual USB 2.0 and dual USB 3.0. The 3.0 is that blue interface here. Then you can see we have the GPIO ports. Same location for the SD card connection. And then all the standard stuff in the bottom of the PCB. So you do have that SD card in the same location. Now notice you see a couple of these 
bits as far as the layout are a little bit different. So your Raspberry Pi 4 case will not work on the Raspberry Pi 5. So that's something to keep in mind. You can either 3D print or just order a Raspberry Pi 5 case. Uh, so again, to note, you do have that PCIe, which is really exciting. Extra functionality with that Raspberry Pi 5. A lot more speed, a lot more capability, a lot more options. And again, the one thing a lot of people are really raving on is this push button switch right here. Again, my name is Chris, and as always, I do hope you learned something today. Please like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching.